Okay, folks, welcome back. We are looking at key stage two math saps buster by the CGP group. Set A test one. This is our nice short uh, nine questions with ten minutes given for all of them all together. So you need to be quick on these questions. So right, let's have a quick look at these questions today. Question number one. Fill in the missing <coughs> digits to make this calculation correct. And the best way to look at this question is if you rewrite the question, oops, and you write it in the normal column style. And that will help you to think about the number bonds in the correct way. So we're adding them. So 20 something add something 6 equals 100. So if I think of it like that, you should find it easier to do. Something add 6 is 0. Well, that's not really 0, that's really a 10. So there's going to be a 4 in there. Now 2, add the 1 above makes 3, and add the missing number will give you 10. So that number then becomes 7. So it's easy to do when, once you rewrite the different format. Question number 2 now. Question number 2. Let's get the rubber because I've kind of written on top of something. Shade in 3 squares to make the diagram symmet symmetrical about the middle line. Now, remember that the original shape, okay, you have shading here, shading here, Shading here and shading here. They have given us a mirror line here. This is where we're going to reflect the shape over it. Now, when we do use the mirror line, we have to remember this the shape will go across uh, perpendicular to the mirror line. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So this one here will go straight across that way. These ones will go straight across this way. And this one will go straight across this way. So it will go straight across at 90 degrees to the mirror. So that's what I mean by that. So let's have a look at where they will go. Now we've got to count. Okay, we use uh, let's use blue on the other side. So this square here is one square away from the mirror. So it will be one square on the other side. So it will be here. This square will be, uh, that's one, two. One, two, that's already done. That one here will be one. 1, 2, 3, 4 away. So 1, 2, 3, 4 away. So that will be actually over here. Now this one over here, it is 1, 2, 3 away. 1, 2, 3 away. So it will be over here. So that will be the position of the trans of the reflection. So you should have, this one's already here. And these two are the ones that we just put in ourselves now. Okay, it's all about going across from this shape to the mirror line at 90 degrees. Okay, what I want to do is this. There's 90 here. There's a 90 degrees angle here. It's for each of them. Next question, question number three. Work out each of these calculations. Now nine times by four, do that first. Let me put the two zeros back in. And that's the quick way of doing that question. 560 divided by eight, you can do that as a bus stop. Technique, I'm just going to use the space I got over here. So how many 8s in 5 is nothing, remainder 5. How many 8s in 56 is 7. No remainder, how many 8s in 0 is 0. So the answer is 70. Let's move on to the next page without any further delay. Let's just get this to the paper without making the video any longer than it needs to be. Emily needs to weigh a parcel before she posts it. What is the weight of Emily's parcel? So we need to be able to read this value here. So from 0 to 1 kilogram, we have 10 little notches. So if you divide a 1,000 grams, which is 1 kilogram, into 10, so that means each one is 100 grams. So it says in kilograms. So you got 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2 2.4. So number 4 should be 2.4 kilograms. Because each, so if you have 1 kilogram and you divide it by 10 small intervals, so that will give you 0.1 kilogram per notch, per, per movement. Okay, from, so that will be 2.1, 2.2 and so on. So that one's done. Question number five. This table shows the activities chosen by children at the local leisure center over three days last week. How many children chose the climbing wall during the three days? So the climbing wall is here. And here are the three days. One, two, and three. So for that calculation, we need to add them all up. So 8, add 17, add 16. So we're going to add those three numbers up. So 8 add 7 is 15. 
15 add 6 will give you 21, and 1 add 1 is 2, 2 add the other 2 is 41. So we have 41 children who chose the climbing wall. Round each decimal to the nearest whole number. Now, this is a common mistake that students do. It's 4.05, you have to stop there. You will have to stop right here. Okay? So the 4.05, we look at this next number in the first decimal place. This is our decider. If it's less than 5, you leave the 4 alone and you stop there. Because the key word here in this question is whole number. You'd be surprised that students' common answer is 4.00. That is a very funny whole number. A whole number with decimal points in it is the decimal number and not a whole number. So 8.52, that's a common mistake by the way, common mistake and that is incorrect. That's the correct answer. So please be careful, don't make the mistake in the exam. So 8.52, look at this 5 as a decider, so you have to stop at the whole number. Because it's 5, you have to add 1 to the 8, the 8 becomes 9. 16.79, so this decimal point, you've got to look at this next number as the decider, what's it telling you to do? If it's 5 or more, add 1 to the 16, so the 16 becomes 17. And we have finished those questions. Let's move on to the next page. Okay, question number seven. Put a ring around, or around the number that is not a square number. Square numbers are numbers like this. One times by one is one. Two times by two is four. Three times by three is nine. Four times by four is 16. Five times by five is 25 and take six and so on. So yes, that's square number. Yes, that's good. Square number. Nine times by nine. Ten times by 10. But that doesn't come in. So the 48 number is not a square number, because after 6 squared is 7 squared, 7 times by 7 is not 48, so this is a fake square number, it's not a square number. Question number 8, the first bar is colored in grey, and the second one is white. The first one is James, and the second one is Corey. The question says here, so we're interpreting a, a bar graph, a bar chart. In which two subjects does James get a higher score than Corey? Okay, so James, the grey bar is going to be higher. That's quite obvious in this one here. We can see here that Corey's mark stops here, but James was up higher. So English is one of them. Okay, so now this one's lower. This one's lower, this one's lower, but this one's higher. So Corey has scored less and James has scored more. So that will be science. A pond is 36 meters long. A duck swims four lengths of the pond each day. How far does the duck swim in four weeks? So first of all, you've got 36 meters and there's four of them a day in one day. That's per day. So first of all, then we need to work out, whoops, we need to work out how many you do in one week. So you'll do seven of those in one week. But the question goes four weeks. So then we've got to time that by four again to give us four weeks. So that's the calculation that we need to do. We need to do 36 times by four, times by seven, times by four. And when we work all that out, so we can do this as one calculation, and this is another calculation. So let's have a look. I mean, it's a bit of space. Okay, I'm going to use the space I have available here. 36 times by four, six times by four will give you 24. Three times by four is 12, 12 by two is 14. So the first part gives us one four. Four, if we do 36 times by 4. Next, 7 times by 4, this part here is 28. So this part here is 144. So we have to now multiply 144 by 28. So let's find some more space. Okay, let's do this 144 times by 28. Okay, that one there. Long multiplication. So this is one question that we're going to do. 4 times by 8 is 32. 4 times by 32 plus 3, that will give you 35. And then 1 times by 8 is 8, add 3, that will give you 11. Now let's get rid of this, those numbers, that they're, they're, they're in the wrong, get them away. Let's get rid of the remainders. So in space, second line, 4 times by 2 is 8, put a 0 down in the beginning first. 4 times by 2 is 8, 1 times by 2 is 2. Now let's add them all up. 
So you have 2, have 8, 8 is 13, 8, 9, add 1 is 10, 2, add 1 is 3, add 1 is 4. So we get an answer of 4032 meters. Thank you for being with us on this test. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for further videos. I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.